Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saving Your Disaster Campaign. My name is Saiken and today we're going to save a legendary Iron Man campaign with a better advent and enabled first timer for that one. Uh, we had a lot of fun with the a better advent campaign that has uh, lately been released on the channel and i figured why not uh, try to choose uh, or to solve a really difficult uh, campaign and this year is pretty much a doozy of a campaign so i call this campaign the dark event massacre because we have at least 17 active dark events already running more are threatening to come um, just let's go quickly through that <clears throat> a lot of them are advent uh, buffs advent now has lightning reflexes is immune to uh, basically acid and fire damage um, will have rural checkpoints that makes it more difficult for us to um, hire soldiers i suppose alloy padding is an extra armor on all of them midnight raids is a, uh, an, an option to capture on all of uh, the uh, covered ops undying loyalty my personal hate uh, active uh, dark event every dying advent has a chance to be immediately uh, resurrected barrier more hit points high alert uh, broader uh, range of uh, uh, detection collateral damage not 100 percent sure i think that was cost in improvement uh, left behind, uh, there is a capture chance, uh, gone to ground, not 100% sure, wild hunt, um, that is the chrysalids, if I, uh, if I remember correctly, alien infiltrator are the faceless ones, rapid response, uh, bigger chances or almost always a chance for reinforcements and viper rounds kind of goes without saying they also have additional rounds i'm not 100 percent sure if that has been fully fabricated but i was in contact with the guy who is running the campaign in my opinion a very competent player from uh, the looks of it and what he was uh, writing a regular viewer of this channel so shout out uh, to you it's always anonymity unless uh, the person wants to disclose uh, themselves let's take a look at the campaign and just uh, see why it is such a disaster campaign he's trying to do or he was trying to do everything in his power in order to kind of get that campaign back on track and you can see the typical uh, problems that come with that uh, so let's sort by date fantastic so in the beginning of the campaign apparently a lot of uh, squaddies died here and there okay that happens uh, maybe fall a bit behind the tech curve the real problem really started in the mid game as you can see here many of uh, the operations had either one or two of the soldiers dying lieutenants with 50 kills that's a bummer because it immediately sets you back right and you can see every single one of uh, those missions either has one or two uh, casualties and lately he was continuing to uh, clock those casualties so i haven't counted them but this year is around uh, 40 and that's on one and a half pages so let's say 70 casualties which is quite good for a long uh, for a non-long war campaign gotta hand it uh, to to you props my friend for continuing to play <clears throat> the armory of the remaining soldiers and that's really his problem he he was not capable of kind of getting all of uh, the soldiers up so he did everything correct started to train uh, psi operatives we're going to continue that of course because that's kind of free super soldiers has a good reaper has a good specialist uh, and has a good skirmisher that's kind of what he has going for him sort of an a team that works and you can see after that it's get, it gets a bit uh, a, a bit more yeah wind it up uh, two skirmishers that's not too bad um, i personally don't like them as much but uh, i'll play with whatever the creator has given me and that's really the entire team right so i cannot scroll even further and a lot of the problems here um, are going to be re uh, just a lack of uh, elarium and alloys we cannot uh, research further if we take a look at the research where we currently are at we're uh, between the uh, magnetic and plasma tier which given that we're in uh, 30 uh, 2036 so a year in 
is far, far too slow. Like uh, this is a year and two months. So of course he's going to be completely uh, over the top outgunned by the enemies. And we're having really limited um, soldiers available. So we're going to let both of them here stay. And I'll just try to do my very best to, to deal with uh, what we can, uh, can or cannot do with the soldiers that we already do have. I'll try to kind of level those and leave the colonels as much in the background as possible. So in terms of just equipment, uh, you can see a lot of uh, them already uh, are only on the standard equipment. I gotta go through that off screen, um, but yeah, you see a lot of really basic equipment here. I like the katanas. Uh, not sure if he has a rashi. Yep. Uh, so that means at least one of the three chosen is down. Let's take a look at the status of the chosen. Uh, she's defeated but we got two more and the problem is they are like fully loaded as well maximum strength low profile revenge evasion <laughs> oh well that's a oh wow that is a really bad setup because low profile will make it more difficult to hit him evasion uh, likewise and revenge also always means he's shooting back those three are a pain in the rear regeneration kinetic plating immunity to explosions Oh, that's bad as well. But both of them can be countered by a Templar. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to uh, aim for some Templars. So let's take a look <clears throat> what we could do. Uh, here's a Colonel Soldier that we can rescue. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I think that is uh, the best project that we could go for immediately. The other one would be just recruiting. Recruit Templar would be fine as well. How many more days until the end of the month? 12. Okay, which means if we play our cards right, we could get back the Colonel here and then eventually also recruit a Templar. Templar so deep into the run should come in at the highest rank and if we're lucky we are even getting one uh, with a blade storm um, and that would mean we have immediately a strong soldier so not all is lost here uh, let's um, come up with a plan uh, but before we do that let me do the uh, and finish the introduction here so overall as you can see 17 dark events uh, we do have an, a few immediate missions one of uh, them is a supply rate which we should do because we need more larium uh, we do have four alien facilities, only one of which is available. Uh, that is going to be difficult. Let's see, are there any alien rulers still in there? Answer is no. None of them show that there are any alien rulers. I suppose he has potentially lost most of uh, the unique weapons. I'll check that off screen. So. Let's talk about the theory. What are we trying to do? Okay, so first things first. Uh, he's now researching facility leads. I commend him in that. That's a good choice because uh, that'll make sure we're not going to lose the campaign. That's absolutely correct. The next um, thing that we're going to do, though, is we're going to get Elarium uh, crystals and we're definitely going to upgrade the weapons. There is no two ways around that. In terms of engineering and upgrading there, let's just take a... Um, take a brief look armors upgraded yeah we gotta upgrade the weapons look at that S squad upgrades are missing so we're actually working with magnetic weapons uh, ouch okay and potentially a couple more flashbang uh, a couple more blue screen rounds maybe one or two more mimic beacons few mind shields so yeah we, we do have the right tools available just gotta play that out uh, well i would say the campaign is saved if i get a, a solid kind of roster together and 
if we are uh, pushing back the uh, ever uh, the avatar project so let's get the thing started i'll set up a team and we're going to do the supply raid right away all right and we're back right in the action i prepared uh, the team as i mentioned i'm not using the kernels they should be kind of kept in the back uh, for the more difficult missions where, although this here is a very difficult mission, we're quote unquote just raiding the Advent Troop Transport. A few things uh, to uh, just go through in case you're wondering how uh, the campaign is supposed to be saved. I took the typical classical four classes, used uh, the skirmisher on top of it and a spark as fire support and additional shredding. I was trying to stay away from unique items as much as possible, but I will go with the Rashi and the Katana for now because we have not yet upgraded the weapons. Once the weapons are upgraded, I'll showcase just how it's done with the normal equipment. Equally, we do not have a Wrath CODS yet, so we cannot really uh, use the grappling hook with anything other than the uh, Viper suit. And other than that, it's pretty much a standard equipment. I have deliberately put a frost grenade in here because with a better advent I assume we're going to run into a couple of uh, primes and once a prime shows up frost is the only counterplay option so you want to use frost bomb and also the at least one of, uh, of the two the frost bomb or the viper suit and pay extra close attention not to lose it because it would make the rest of the campaign just a tiny bit more difficult so we got a good loadout overall. I figured uh, it's actually quite decent. Might as well uh, take the second Mimic Beacon uh, just in case. So I think this one here is good. Lots of ammunition, three blue screen rounds, one tail end round. Should be good to deal with all of uh, the mechanical units. Let's uh, take a very short uh, look at the actual skills of uh, the uh, of the operatives for a sniper long watch is fine lightning hands is good uh, quick draw is fantastic as well i would potentially uh, try to use the uh, the point also by death from above pace off is good so i fully approve that uh, skill here um, if, if we go with um, animal our specialist i like what i'm seeing until here Common protocol not necessarily needed, but it's a nice finisher for the extra points. What I don't like is covering fire over threat assessment. Threat assessment gives a free uh, action uh, for the um, so free Overwatch uh, shot for the mere cost uh, of a normal action doesn't even end your turn. So this here is just fantastic for action economy and much much better than covering fire. Not even close. Um, those are not with us. Let's see. That guy is also not with us. There we go. That's the Skirmisher. Skirmisher, he was actually quite lucky. Uh, he has return fire and reflex, so he could even build this guy as a quote-unquote tank. I don't like passive abilities, but if he has uh, ability points to spare, those are not bad. Uh, I like the lightning reflexes. Volatile mix potentially not something that I would have skilled. I would have gone for wrath instead. Wrath and retribution are great. He forgot to skill whiplash. I immediately uh, rescaled that because it's a free action. And combat presence is also good. Uh, moving on to uh, Major Lily here, Major Knockout. I think overall decent. Uh, blast padding and shredder, fantastic. Demolition, uh, you can make a case for uh, for that. Whole targeting and heavy ordnance, I would use uh, that as well. Can make a case for chain shot with uh, uh, with uh, pretty much good aim uh, if you use her at a high ground. And hail of bullets isn't bad either, but uh, I would definitely have gone for salvo. It's just so much better than hail of bullets from an action economy. So that's uh, the second miss skill uh, that I've seen here. Spark, uh, adaptive aim, super important. Uh, so it's good to see that he has done that. Not sure how he got adaptive aim and bulwark. He must have used the mod for that. Typically, they cannot benefit uh, from APs. Anyways, Rainmaker is good. Intimidate is fantastic as well, although Wrecking Ball has its advantages. Repair is a must uh, take and Hunter Protocol for everybody that has uh, seen my Rise of the Robots campaign. It's just an imbalanced uh, good skill. OP. Um, as for the Ranger, 
I would always go with Blade Master, Phantom, and Conceal. I, I know where he was uh, trying uh, to use it in order to kind of use it as a, uh, as a scout uh, unit. Potentially wouldn't have done that. Uh, my biggest gripe here is not to use uh, Run and Gun. I know that he was trying to use it as a scout unit, but really, um, Run Gun is too good to pass by. Good. Okay. So far so good, that's the team. We're going to jump right into the mission and let's see how much we're going to get our teeth kicked in. That's always the point that I enjoy about uh, those uh, saving your disaster campaigns. You go in blind, uh, clearly the guy has struggled. Uh, so I'm doing all of that Monday morning quarterback coaching here and telling how to scale better. Let's see how well I do in the actual mission. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it. We are in the actual mission. It took me a while to uh, get this one going. Uh, the mission, for whatever reason, completely uh, crashed and I needed to kind of reinstall XCOM and then even re-download the mods. So it took me a while behind the scenes to get this one going. And there are still like minor issues. For instance, the soldiers here start uh, with uh, not fully reloaded weapons for whatever reason <laughs> so that is strange let's put it that way anyways uh, we are in the mission and let's take a good look what we're going to deal with uh, so this is a um, a supply rate uh, mission which means we are non-time however one of our many 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 dark events that we are having um, prevented us from having concealment uh, right off uh, the bat. So the only one being concealed is Ice Pick here, uh, who has the Phantom trait, and we're going to use him as a scout, Moving on target location. just to make sure that we're at least somewhat safe. Rashi, if I'm not mistaken, had... No, didn't have uh, automatic reload. So we're going to use uh, the automatic reload um, the normal reload function, sorry. Didn't have an auto loader. We're going to move everybody in position for now. Let's just take some sort of cover. I want to make sure we're not going to fan out too far. Something along the lines. And then the first thing that we're going to do is actually reloading. Specifically the super heavy uh, cannon. Wait, what exactly? Superior marksman stock? Okay. He must have used some sort of mod here. Uh, mm, I am not sure what the superior marksman stock is. It says stabilized shot, so I assume it's kind of a long war uh, version. And But that's fine. The weapon definitely has a lot of ammunition. That's a given. I'm wondering, though, why we can't reload it. That's strange. Doesn't even allow me to reload. Scanning. I am watching. Okay, apparently we can't reload. Uh, we can't really take uh, take an Overwatch either with the weapon. That's really strange. Maybe something is not hundred percent right. We can still hunker down. It's not going to influence us too much. I'm not going to play with a lot of Overwatch anyways. And the Grenadier mainly is going to use uh, their grenade. Uh, the other thing that I want to highlight is apparently we do have those extra uh, blast padding shields. That's also something that we must be a bo uh, bonus. I would need to figure out if uh, that is not a uh, standard vanilla feature, I think. Uh, that is another mod. So let's give it a go. I wanted to scout, so let's play disciplined. Moving and ad advancing aggressively. Duke here, our spark. Oh, look at that. Full reload. Okay. Apparently that is a weapon modification. And the full reload, for whatever reason, can only be taken before you're moving. And it seems that she cannot overwatch with that weapon. 
interesting. Okay, so some sort of weapon modification. It's definitely not a standard weapon. Heading out. And how about we're just going to go here for now. We do have a grappling hook. We could take high, uh, high ground. For now, we're fine. And I am curious to see what we're going to uh, be up against. I know that it's 16 enemies, if I'm not mistaken. I think we've... Uh, I vaguely remember that I've uh, seen that on the mission description. Okay, what are we dealing with? Elite Officer and Elite Lancer. Those do not seem... Um, anything uh, like anything special, so should be fine for now. Might as well clear. move over. It is clear. Animal. I can actually take uh, move all the way over there. I think we're going to take the high ground because why not? Famous last words. Should have scouted beforehand. Sector Prime there. Alright. Well, 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 Saiken. Fantastic showcasing of how it's not done. But that allows us to also deal with these uh, guys um, in terms of shredding gun too far away could overdrive essentially over, uh, move over here give it a go but both of them would be in full cover out of action can't really do much with ice pick either Hmm. Not the best start. We still have combat presence, so I suppose we could do something with that. Um, I mean, the plasma grenade definitely would shred uh, the guy and get rid of some of the cover. Uh, this here is indestructible terrain, though. I think, you know, it might actually be destructible. Let's uh, let's give it a try. We also don't want to go too aggressive into that direction because there's a sector prime right there. Having the guy shredded is good. Alright, with Whiplash we can could definitely get him. Do we want to use Overdrive? I mean it was a pretty stupid move that I've pulled off. So might as well pay for it. By essentially using a couple of our cooldowns. This here should be fine. Again, famous last words. No, we're good. Could go with a shredder gun. That's one option. Very low chance of hitting either of these guys. And I think we're going to go with it. Very good. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Oh, 
Nice little whiplash. Oh, look at that. Undying loyalty kicks in. Fantastic. Good job. Good no uh, combat presence into knockout here. Uh, what do we have for stock? Outloader expanded magazine superior trigger. 31%. This guy still is in high cover. I wow. Hmm. I think that that would be the better choice. Before we're going with it, though, uh, let's give over a comet presence just in case. And. That's a pretty good chance of killing him. Ooh, they do have co a close combat specialist, but thankfully we do have lightning reflexes. <laughs> so many things are triggering at the same time. And of course, good old undying loyalty. Spray. Minus 20 aim. Doesn't end the turn. Does not count as a headshot against the loss. Okay. Well. If I am not completely mistaken, we did have Ripjack, so the, uh, mm, the Bladestorm uh, variant. I hope we do, because I would like this guy to actually die. And I don't want to pull that extra pack here, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fall back Moving. so that we're not triggering that extra pack. Covering. Okay, I can begin to appreciate and see why that whole uh, run was hard for him. Just the amount of extra dark events is fascinating. I like it. Undying loyalty, first and foremost, is just that big fat turn off. There's the retribution I was talking about, so yeah, I sort of calculated that that would work. Of course, you should not calculate uh, that, but uh, to be entirely honest, this whole uh, thing here wasn't planned, as you might imagine. I was actually just trying to get in position good we got hail of bullets apparently he has modified the gun I do begin to understand uh, what he was trying to do uses both actions to take a shot or uh, kind of spray which is kind of, which which seems to be the uh, the normal sh uh, normal shot it's almost like an infantry. It's, it's really a heavy weapon with just a lot of ammunition. Okay, cool. Um, makes the uh, heavy weapon much, much stronger. Of course, only if you're hitting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm quite happy. So far, so good. You could use some high ground, but unfortunately, we don't have that available. As you wish. So might as well use the next best thing, which is getting close to the enemy. Gotta remove the cover, if possible. Hmm. Not optimal. Um, if anything, we would want to go for the Elite Lancer, of course. It's not even a question. Long Watch. Okay, he apparently has some extra abilities uh, that 
also came from mods. But we potentially potentially need to move in. Uh, do we have? No, we don't. It would be dangerous to just move in and blade storm them, um, because we might be able to trigger something else. And he doesn't have blade storm yet, so scratch the comment about blade storm. Let's see if we can kill him. We move all the way over here. It's one option. The other one is 100% kill with the protocol. Don't want to go here because I know there's another pack uh, right there, right? Moving there. Instead, carefully moving over. Not close enough, but close enough to drop a Mimic Beacon if needed. Question is, do we want that yet? I think the answer is potentially yes. Saving the Comet Protocol. Uh, that's not good. Our aim is really bad. Superior Penetrating Scope. Okay. He does have a couple of modifications on his weapon that I have never seen. Apparently mods. I don't want to take an 85% uh, chance. The question is, do I want to be as aggressive to go in and punish the guy hard? We know it's a quite full map and... I don't think it's the right call. Not yet. Instead, moving up and carefully assessing the situation. Sometimes a careful play is the best course of action. Mimic Beacon into the open. There we go. And we're taking the 100%. Might be undying loyalty, to be entirely honest. Alright, 3 out of 3. Undying loyalty delivers. Let's see... Um, point in, in the mission where typically that sector prime would need to add just to make the fight a little bit more advanced. Okay, well, fantastic. So, we still got that guy back there. Highly uncomfortable uh, position for us. I don't want to use another consumable if possible. So I'm wondering, can we get him out of there with means other than consumables? The answer is potentially no. Which is quite disheartening. We can flank him, but that alone won't kill him. 50-50 only. Not enough movement to engage him in melee either. We don't have a good position. Stabilize and fire the weapon is also just a 50-50. Not liking the odds here. We can use a plasma grenade to, of course, get rid of it, but that would mean our explosives uh, and cover removal for 
for this uh, mission are all but gone and I would rather not like to do that. Instead, let's start to soften this guy up. And we're going to use... Um, yeah, I think we're going to use that stabilized fire to see if we can get rid of the tree or some of his armor. Alternatively, that's good as well. Hail of Bullets is guaranteed to hit. So we're going to take that one. Hope it's worth it. Oh, look at you. Can't take it when you've moved. Hmm. Okay, apparently that change of the gun is eerily similar to the sniper. Okay, let's see. That did not connect, but it reduced the tree a little bit, which is what I was hoping for. It's still full cover though. Not optimal. Can't really move into a great position either. Are we just going to take the damage is uh, the question here. I mean... There is a chance for a critical hit. He could also move over here and start to flank us, which is suboptimal in in itself could move back to here kind of non-flankable for him he would need to move all the way up here can't he can't really do that hmm Still can't quite reach him. Overwatch. A protocol for Duke. And yeah, we can't kill him. Let's go for a second Overwatch. That was no good way of uh, killing him. I'm hoping that he will retreat because he's up, he's outnumbered. Of course, that's not the case. Instead, he's going to take shots at us. I said a critical hit into cover. That was a deliberate choice uh, to basically tank the damage instead of wasting a mimic beacon. Sucks because now we're we're left with an injured soldier. But that's a great example of momentum yet again. At the very beginning, I made a mistake by moving up and I'm still paying for it dearly. Uh, because I needed to use a lot of cooldowns just to get that pack clean. Certainly didn't help that there were three um, undying loyalties. But yeah, sometimes it's the ripple effect of what you've done. I also decided to kind of keep the concealment. I feel light on my feet. All right, All right moving up. Re Reloading where possible. And I still need to get used to the gun here.
potentially over here would be also a good way of approaching that side because we we know that there is a pack over here right so no need to kind of wait until they advance might as well do it ourselves Switching sides. Understood. Moving out. Let's take a good look. A of hostiles over here. Is that a prime? Yeah, Spectre Prime. And a heavy mech. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, we can deal with that. Moving out. Hoping for the sector prime to kind of peek around the corner here. And I'm also seeing footsteps of what I assume is going to be a sector pod. Ooh, we can already hear that there is something behind. Okay, we could grab our way up there. Fantastic. It is clear. Even better to have her up there. I move. move it up, move it up. On your order. All right, let's put our scout ahead. Ice pick here is going to take point. I await their approach. I am ever vigilant. And we're hunkering down. Moving to Overwatch. Moving and a lot of Overwatch. Come on. Come around the corner. Show yourself. Heading there now. <laughs> okay. No one. Well, I did not expect that. Good. I would say we're going to like slowly but surely advance. Moving to designated coordinates. Will do. I don't want to move the mech because my suspicion is that right behind uh, the uh, crash landed Sky Ranger, we're going to find aliens. Suspicion sort of worked out. Hunter Protocol. And that was a holder target. Coming in from the side. That's a nice little uh, shot with uh, the gun. And that, by the way, is the reaction to an Overwatch, which is crazy. I still don't like how the ruler's reflexes are implemented. Um. Okay, good. So you might think that that here is a bit aggressive. I would agree if it wouldn't be for frostbite. Okay, well, so much for the idea of shutting the guy down. Archon takes a nice little hit there. We could make ourselves invisible. Not the worst idea. 
Yeah, let's go for it. Ah, we're immediately spotted out. Well, it was the worst idea. In classical XCOM, it worked even though you were in direct line of sight, uh, as long as you did move. It was a bit of an oddity, but it worked. Okay, do we have any shot uh, that would deal enough damage to outright kill this guy? Well, we would have a melee attack, which would be fantastic. But unfortunately, that's not going to work now. Same dilemma as beforehand. We cannot really... Uh, hmm use our free actions in order to get this guy down. So let's get everybody in into a solid cover position, shall we? Play that nice and safe. That's affirmative. Back into cover. I could use the frost grenade, but I don't want to. Not yet. Over there. Instead, moving into cover. Duke takes an aid protocol. Everybody is in cover now. Overdriving. And time to hopefully kill this guy. Your poor habits must be wearing off on me. Hmm. Alright, he'll get one action in return. Should have holo targeted him before. Should have holo targeted him beforehand. Oh my gosh, that was poorly played. All right, Overwatch and another Overwatch. I think we're fine. He's likely going to move. That could have been bad. Okay, Mr. Last Words. I was sort of hoping he would use his Psy abilities, which he again did not. Very good. Um, I'm still a little bit rusty with uh, ABA and that team, but okay, that's to be expected if you jump right into kind of a game that you, uh, a safe game that you haven't played before. All things considered, still an okay mission. However, I don't like taking damage. And even though we have a lot of armor here on Knockout and she can tank quite a bit, she still has taken damage and I am trying to kind of more or less flawless the missions uh, so that we can go on to multiple missions in a row. Anyways, for now, we're good. Moving over, I just want the cooldowns back, I suppose. And we have killed two, four, six enemies. It feels like we have engaged many, many, many more than six enemies. 
Yeah, there's the elite purifier over there. Okay, slowly but surely moving up. One more round until the grapple is ready. In the meantime, let's get everybody in position. Also one more turn over here until our grapple is ready. I think we can maybe take cover over here. Still in, in distance to grapple over onto the Sky Ranger. Duke is just going to reload. I don't want to trigger anything else. Eventually, Long Watch will trigger. It won't. Okay, very good. Okay, so a few of those positions are not triggering. This here should be fine. Okay, barely not triggering though. Taking that sweet, sweet high ground here. Hmm. You only have full cover over here. The problem is this here is not even grounded. Kind of counts as stairs, which is the reason why the uh, mech unfortunately doesn't give cover from all of the different angles. I need to find a position where we can stand for now without triggering. Okay, so that worked out. And at least have some cover, please. Moving to designated position. Mm, still not cover. Okay, well. Not great. I would like to take that gr high ground, but we simply don't know what's happening over there. This tower here would be fantastic as well. Again, very hard sell. I go quickly. Good. We got to approach it with a bit more foresight. Knockout here. It's taking the full cover position. Come on it. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Okay, well, this is hopefully they're not going to move. Great. Uh that's not bad. Okay, so we can move over here. Shouldn't trigger. Very good. Uh, this will trigger. This here would not trigger. Difficult. I like his position. Don't want to change it. One more turn until over uh, drive, and I want to wait that turn. There is the cover I was looking for. Full cover, Overwatch, perfect. That's affirmative. Affirmative, covering now. Overwatch, 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 and now 
Now it would be good if they would actually start to move. Or do anything. Wish we would be able to reach them with a frost bomb. If we could start with frost bomb, well, that would be so good. Unfortunately, we can't. Because the range is not long enough. But just imagine that. I mean, frost bomb would like take out all three of them. And it'll be an easy kill. Specifically against the Prime. Hmm. Can't really make him uh, invisible. That's it. That is unfortunate. And we've lost our Shredder gun. No kill zone either. I mean, the Heavy Mac is a kind of natural target um, to, to be killed first. The other option is uh, we don't have Blade Storm, so yeah, scratch that option. That's why it's like going in would have been a real possibility. Hmm. It almost seems like we need to start uh, with a sniper. Question is, are we going to go for the Spectre Prime? I would much rather like to go for the Heavy Mech. Unfortunately, we do not have blue screen. We do have blue screen rounds loaded, don't we? I'm pretty sure I have loaded blue screen rounds. Yeah. So why exactly is it dealing so little damage? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Should be at least fifteen. Please don't tell me that they are immune to blue screen rounds due to a dark event. That would be awful. Like truly awful. Okay, Psychon, so you gotta make a play. Wow, it's potentially really that amount of armor that uh, the mech has. That is horrible. Can't really kill the purifier either. So might as well start with a mech and take it from there. Do we have a repeater? No, we don't. <laughs> well, that was 14 points of damage, uh, but it was barely scratching the surface. Good. Uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Fifty percent. Shall I really pull the spectre? Not sure if that's a good idea. Repositioning. We're repositioning. Whiplash into almost killing the mech. Nice one as a free action. I like the idea of dealing with that Spectre Prime. It will move away. 
Ooh, it's stunned. That is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Overdrive. Taking care of business first. Clustering up is not a good idea because uh, I can already see the grenade coming. So, in order to prevent that from happening... I think we're just going to remove uh, the cover and deal with that guy first. The Sector Prime, um, Spectre Prime is stunned for now, so it can't really act. Very good. Very good. Animal moves over. And we're looking to kill that purifier. Very good. Uh, it's 90% crit chance. I like it, but I want our more shredding first. There's the crit. They've got eyes on me. And there's the kill. Good. Very good. Okay, that one actually worked out nicely. All things considered, we're going to reconceal because I like the idea of having a scout. And I also like loot. Laser sight and the data pad. Fantastic. Good. So far, so good. I still think there is a sector pod. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a sector pod prime? Please. Oh, yeah. Well, we got Comet Protocol, that's about it. Now would have been the right uh, time to hack the Sector Port Prime. That would have been the best time ever to hack it. We got a Mimic Beacon. That's a start. And we got a nice little Comet Protocol, which is also not too bad. For now, though... I would like us to reload, get our kind of business in order. Taking a nice, more aggressive position over there. More reloading. Where is a good high ground? I still think we should try to go for that high ground. We're now fighting a sector pod. We really need all of the odds on our side. Alright, it's moving, but it's not moving in our direction. That's good news as far as the sector port is concerned. Affirmative. Good. We're moving into a solid position. 
Closing on target position now. Yeah. Wow, an elite titan. Holy shit. Okay. So even the accompanying uh, soldiers are quite difficult. Five armor, sector port has even more armor. Luckily we got the frost bomb and that's exactly why we do have it, because I don't want to deal with the uh, with the prime. That prime is nasty. We need to have a line of sight in order to start pulling it with Comet Protocol. And my hopes is if we pull it with Comet Protocol, we're getting kind of a long drawn out fight going. It will need to move a bit before it's even reaching us. All right, it's triggered. So much for it will need to move a bit before it's reaching us. Didn't need to move at all. It was like, oops, I'm here. Don't mind me, I just moved halfway across the map. But yeah, luckily Frost's bomb is the counter to the primes. Frozen, bitch. Um, oh yeah, forgot uh, that we need overdrive. Well, too bad, but we still can uh, pull it off. Let's start shredding it. I'm going to need a bigger gun. Not hunker down. Uh, combat present, dude. We're giving over the common presence to our spark because the spark nicely shreds the armor here. That's going to hurt. Let's grapple somewhere into, uh, into a little bit more safety. The moment when you realize you are already standing at the safest spot. Fantastic. this going to end his turn um, doesn't seem like it I think he had skilled quick hands I think he had skilled quick hands yes he did very good
If we're moving over, we're going to be in a world of pain because Stun Lancer is going to uh, approach us. Sectorport can't do anything yet. Those guys do not see us. Uh, this mech is the only one that can move up. Maybe shoots us with rockets, but shouldn't be a big problem. Titan can't really do much, and the Stun Lancer will just move in. So instead, we're just going to Overwatch. That was a big mistake. Should have. Oh wow, well, lucky. Uh, should have just killed him. Um, I forgot that they still haven't uh, fixed. That they still haven't fixed uh, the um, frost grenade. Problem with the frost grenade is um, it did not. It, it said that it uh, slowed the. Uh, slowed him down and throat means that he should have lost like one action in reality he did not it just it just didn't happen Go help them out. all right counter healing we're having a mimic beacon if needed okay and now it is definitely time To deal with most of these guys. Nice little justice pull. Very good. Also stunned. Fantastic. We're going to be efficient here. Hitting him. And then face offing, which means Sectorport dies, and he dies as well. Oh, and we even get another shot off. Well, it's not too bad. Okay, so far so good. I think we got overdrive. Yes, we do. Desperately needed because we are in big trouble once again. But thanks to our high ground position here, might be able to pull that off. Okay, well, um, whenever something says self destruct. That is kind of the moment when you really don't want to stand near it. Now we're, we're going to go we're going to go over here fast shot and destroy that guy One down, thousands to go. that's a nice little shredding should have done that prior uh, to taking a shot with the shotgun but yeah it still worked out and that should be it. Ooh. One hour of uh, solid packed action, 16 enemies, and yeah, I mean, it wasn't the perfect uh, first mission, but uh, I haven't played for a while. I am quite rusty and just jumping into the first most difficult mission of a Saving You Disaster campaign is a bit of a challenge. It worked out uh, well though.
Okay. Fantastic, we got two promotions, so first and foremost, let's get Bladestorm here. Um, I will take uh, Implacable as well, and we got another promotion. Uh, Reckoning is not really good. Let me see what we're going to do with him. I mean... Um, Wrath definitely is, is worth it. I almost like the idea of return fire plus reflex for 20. In case he ever gets hit. That would not be bad. Waylay, not really a great ability. I like the mobility aspect, so... Let's go with Wrath. Yes, please. And we got 14 points left over. Some of the kernel abilities are fine, but return fire isn't really bad it is actually quite okay uh the only problem is if a prime shoots at him he shoots back and then the prime just shoots again hmm are we going to risk that i think we can risk it okay cool very good, so data pad, look at that. We finally got Elarium Crystals, that's what he was looking for. Six cores, wow, that is a lot. I am still hard at work on so the change research. Fire, Ooh, look at that. He has a couple of nice uh, things here. Manufacture upgrade components, tier two, tier three. Okay, I have not seen that yet. But before we are doing that, I would much rather like to start uh, researching an actual sniper rifle. I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. And before we're doing anything else, I would like to upgrade weapons. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. How about plasma rifles? Oh, three upgrade components. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, not 100% sure what that all means. Uh, mm, I'll figure it out in between, but apparently we will need upgrade components, tier 3, that we, which we don't have yet. Uh, they need to be researched first. And then weapon fragments. However, we're going to get those. Apparently we do have some components inside arm fragments, but we don't have weapon fragments. Disguise your armor and weapon and take up an inventory slot. Provides the phantom ability. <laughs> okay, that's actually a cool item. I like it. Um, yeah. Okay, we have two types of mimic beacons. Kind of the normal mimic beacons, but those this time require codex brains. And the faceless uh, ones essentially are consumable okay that is interesting be it as it may we're going to take one extra blue screen rounds were okay um nano trauma kit seems better than the normal uh than the normal kit i gotta be careful with our supplies though Trauma kit and the nano trauma kit can be used on the run, but the carrier cannot heal himself with it. Can be used to resuscitate an unconscious soldier. Okay. I'll give it a go. Why not? I'm always up to kind of uh, test new items. We certainly could use more supplies, but we're going to get them sooner or later. In terms of 
just uh, building something here. A ref suit would have been great, but I need to save the Elerium crystals for weapons. Experimental ammunition could be good. The heavy weapons definitely could be good. And another spark definitely could be good as well. But all of that costs Celerium and I gotta save that for now. Um, let's research the Plasma Lands and then the Tier 3 upgrade components. I have absolutely no idea what all of uh, that means, but I suppose it's part of a better campaign. Don't need Intel at this point. Well, we could use some. There are also some more supplies. You know what? Let's continue with the supplies for now. And the moment that I see that the Avatar project uh, goes up, we're going to immediately rush into the only facility that we do have available. Okay, we got some more uh, supplies. Let's really think through what the most sensible course of action is. I think we're going to get another spark uh, for him. A wrath suit wouldn't be bad either. But it costs a lot of Elerium. And I actually need the upgrades of the weapons first. So how do I get those weapon fragments. Is that something that we're engineering? It says here 70 light weapon fragments. How do you get light weapon fragments to begin with? Well, you know what? Write it in the comments down below. I will f figure it out once uh, this here is airing, but you can at least educate the others if you know how to do it. This here are upgrade components tier two and tier three. It only takes one day, so might as well start researching it. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. And we'll eventually get those upgrade components. That also explains why he has not upgraded his weapons. Assorted loot back there. Don't need that. I think we're just going to, in terms of supplies, we're going to make contact here. And we're going to install a new radio. Because the African continent bonus is an extra ex, uh, an extra double agent, and that is an awesome bonus. Next time, perhaps you should pay more attention to these things. That's a dark event. Doesn't mean it doesn't mean that uh, the uh, Avatar project is already progressing. The reason why that is important is the moment that the Avatar project is progressing, we want to stop it so that the uh, cooldown, uh, every time you are essentially reducing the Avatar project, it, re uh, it puts a six weeks uh, cooldown in and we want to make sure that that happens. So, interchangeable upgrades. Apparently, these here are, oh, I see. So these here are components that you're researching. 10 days for interchangeable upgrades. Sorry, that's not going to happen. We're going to resume the research that is an important task, Commander. back to my original quest of kind of upgrading the weapons. Good. So we got upgrade components tier three. Fantastic. That's good. 50 light weapon fragments. There must be some sort of a... Some sort... Does he have light weapon fragments? Some sort of kind of 16s. 
Broken weapons and weapon parts salvaged in the field. While we can't add them to our armory directly, these can still be broken down into weapon fragments and used as raw materials for improving our own rifles and shotguns. Okay, so they are found out in the field. I see. Which means I gotta win a couple of, uh, a few missions in order to do that. Dude, why would you, oh my god, uh, that is just beyond me. Why would you make it even more difficult to, to just uh, get the weapon upgrades? Boy Drift, thank you. Whilst I like the mechanic, it seems awkwardly random. Recovered from wounds. Okay. Huh. See, that's the problem with reloading saves. I, at the very beginning, mentioned that we wanted to get our colonel back here. But I never assigned soldiers. Good job, Saiken. Well done. Um, soldier captured high and a moderate chance for a wounded soldier. Okay, well... If we go through the armory. Recruitment costs 80 supplies, which we don't have. Just give started, Commander. Good, back to the resistance ring. I see why he has stopped uh, trying to rescue soldiers. But that's okay. What exactly is a marksman? Oh, that's the class modific. No, that seems to be a new class. Interesting. I'll check that out. Good. Two of the lowest profile uh, candidates will try to rescue the colonel. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Very good. Oh, I see we're even short on engineers. Holy shit, this is a difficult mission. My, a difficult campaign, much more difficult than I would have anticipated. Say, why did you never continue to build out anything else? I suppose because you have already built out most of it. But yeah, you did not build out power relays. Hmm, okay, well. You already built all of uh, the other buildings and now the Avatar project continues, which means we have no longer the opportunity to just wait. Our next mission will be over here. Mutant Infector, Gatekeeper Prime. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, Cryo Priest, Elite Spark, Heavy, Elite, Elite, Elite. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to storm and to do that alien facility. I actually want to fight it and don't just silently run it with a Reaper. And... That should reduce the Avatar project, also put it on hold. And I think we really need to then uh, continue researching the facility lead. I do understand now why he wanted to go with the facility lead, fair enough. With the radio relay here, we can uh, very soon expand and make contact. And we could also make contact down here, where there is a four blip factory. That's a good one. That'll swing the tide of battle. I'll re uh, recapture Africa. So, next time we're going to uh, take down that facility, eventually start recapturing Africa, and soon I want to kill the Darkstalker because that at least will give us a better sniper. And with a better sniper, I I can start going through uh, the missions easier. Pursue of knowledge. Yeah, double agent. Uh, that bonus here is good. Volunteer army isn't bad either. I like it. 
So those are the two, um, the two uh, continent bony that will give you straight up uh, combat power. Yeah, much to do here. Guys, if you enjoy uh, the Saving Your Disaster campaigns, uh, then definitely leave a comment uh, comment down below as it helps the videos. I uh, so far absolutely love that dark event massacre and hope that you tune in the next time. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.